Audiences are a feature that you're going to use a lot in Funnel Kit automations. They're extremely powerful, and this video is going to give you everything that you need to know about them. In your WordPress dashboard under Funnel Kit automations and contacts, we have our audiences. To create an audience, you'll click create audiences, give your audience a name, a description, and then here you can apply your filters. So these filters define the audience. So for example, if we went to WooCommerce and then has made a purchase, this would create an audience of everyone that's a contact in Funnel Kit Automations that has made a purchase. So if we had to summarize, audiences are groups of your contacts that you define based on a set of criteria, such as their engagement with your emails and their purchasing behavior in your store. Other CRMs might refer to audiences as segments. Returning to our example audience, if we give it a name and a description and then click add, we can see that there's 16 contacts in Funnel Kit Automations that have made a purchase and they're currently subscribed to Funnel Kit Automations. The next thing to understand is how your contacts get into your audiences. When you go ahead and create your audience, you set those filters. When a contact meets those filters, they automatically get added into that audience. If we create a second audience and create an audience of everyone that's engaged with our emails in the last 30 days, it would look something like this. We would go ahead and apply a filter and then under engagement, we would select engaged and then in the last 30 days and click add. In this case, we have 37 contacts in Funnel Kit Automations that meet that criteria of those filters. And out of those 37, 17 are currently subscribed in Funnel Kit Automations receiving our emails. And this leads me into why we use audiences. Using audiences allows you to create more personalized and effective marketing campaigns. Instead of sending the same emails to your entire contact list, you can target specific groups based on their past behaviors and preferences. This level of personalization significantly increases your engagement and makes you more sales. Being the powerful tool that Funnel Kit Automations is, there's a lot of different filters that you could use to define your audience. And you might be wondering what audiences should you create first? On my screen is a list of audiences to help get you started. And they're divided into two main categories. The first category of audiences are engagement-based audiences. You'll use these audiences for list management, which will keep you out of the spam folder by ensuring you only email people that are engaging with your messages. In Funnel Kit Automations, a contact is seen as being engaged if they have opened one of your emails, clicked a link in one of your emails, or they haven't been sent any emails, so they haven't had the chance to be unengaged. Here are the engagement-based audiences that you could start with. The first audience is people that engaged in the last 30 days, then people that engaged in the last 60 days, people engaged in the last 90 days, and then people that have not engaged in the last 90 days, or rather people that have been unengaged for greater than 90 days. And the way that you would use these audiences is that you would send more emails to people that engaged in the last 30 days and then less emails to people that engaged in the last 60 days and then even fewer emails to those that engaged in the last 90 days. May be obvious, but there's more people in each of these audiences the longer the time period. So there's more people in the 90 days than the 60 days and the 30 days. And there's more people in the 60 days than in the 30 days but the people that engaged in the last 30 days should be more engaged, more likely to open your emails, and so you should get higher open rates with the last 30 days than you would with the last 90 days. For people that don't engage with any marketing messages that you send for greater than 90 days, so what you could do with these contacts is try and win them back. Maybe send them an email with a really large discount and try and get them buying again. And when they purchase, then they would go into your post-purchase automations. Maybe they fall back into your welcome series again. But ultimately, the best outcome here is to try and get them back into your brand and engaging with your business. So let's go ahead and set up our engagement-based audiences. We already have our engaged last 30 days audience, but I'll go here and I'll click edit. And I'll just update the name because this is what I do myself. Next, let's go create audience, give it a name and a description, and then here we'll go down to engagement, engaged, and then in the last and 60 days and click add. Then we'll go ahead and create our audience for the last 90 days. So just repeating what we did before in the last 
and then 90 days and click add. And then finally, we'll go ahead and create our unengaged audience for the last 90 days. And then here we'll go down to engagement and then unengaged. And then here you can only select from, so that's okay. And then we'll do 90 days and click add. Our engagement based audiences are now complete. The second category of audiences to create are your purchase based audiences. As we go through each of the examples, let's create the audience in FunnelKit Automations, and then I'll show you how you could use this audience to send more personalized marketing messages and make your store more revenue. So the first audience is a list of everyone that's made a purchase in your store. We created this audience earlier in today's video. You would use this audience by treating your purchases differently to people that have not yet purchased. Because if somebody spent money in your store, you can maybe send them more offers and more regular discounts to try and keep them purchasing. Whereas if somebody has not yet purchased in your store, you might need to warm them up a little bit more, introduce them to your brand, what you stand for, and convince them a little bit more as to why they should be spending money in your store. Next are your product category based audiences. We'll create an audience. Here I'll click add filter and then under WooCommerce, select product categories, matches any of, I'll search for men and select that category and click add. And we'll create another audience and we'll repeat the process by selecting the women's product category like so and clicking add. There's many different ways you could use a product category based audience to send more personalized marketing messages, but I think this is a really good example. If you have a new men's item that comes into stock, you could go ahead and just email everyone that's purchased from the male category and send them that notice to let them know that that is back in stock. Then you have product based categories. If I click create audience and then go to filters and then WooCommerce, at the very bottom, we could select purchase products matches any of, and then we could search all of WooCommerce for a specific product. In this demonstration, let's find everyone that purchased our habit tracking spreadsheet because we've just released a new online course, which is this product here. And we want to let everyone know that bought our spreadsheet that they can go ahead and purchase that online course. So we could go select the spreadsheet, give the audience a name and description, and then click add. Then we could go down to broadcasts and select this audience to send that broadcast to. And in the email, we'd let them know that we have that online course that they can purchase and it's related to the product that they purchased previously. But there's a lot of different use cases for this particular type of audience. Then you have your lapsed customers who have not bought in the last 180 days. We'll create an audience and then we'll add our filter. And then under WooCommerce, we'll select last order days is before 180 days give our audience a name and description. And we also need to come down here and select WooCommerce and has made a purchase. So this is everyone that has purchased from our store at least once in the past, but has not bought in the last 180 days. We'll click add. Some examples of how you could re-engage this audience is to send them an email to let them know about the latest products that you've added because maybe they're not aware. You can also reach out to them and ask for feedback because maybe there's a reason they've not bought again. Then you have your VIP customers. Here I'll create an audience and it's really up to you and your store and your average order value as to how you define what makes a VIP customer. In this example, I'll click the plus sign to add a filter and then under WooCommerce, I'll go down to order count and then set this to is at least three. And I'll stack this with a second filter and I'll go to WooCommerce. And then at the bottom, I'll select total revenue is at least $500. I'll give my audience a name and description and click add. And because of those things, we want to treat these customers really well. We want to send them larger discount codes. We want to give them early access to our new products before everyone else. And when you write your marketing messages to these customers, let them know that they are valued and they have your VIP status. Your customers love when you make them feel special. The last audience I had on the list here was people that have not purchased recently. But I'm going to update this now to be an audience of all contacts that we want to exclude from broadcasts. And here's why. When your customer buys from your website, you'll want to add them into automations. So this upsell automation here cross sells and upsells related products. Then you have your welcome series where you introduce them to your brand and your products. 
And then after a period of time, you'll want to send an email to request a review. And while your customers go through these automations, you'll also be sending your broadcast emails. Maybe you just posted a new YouTube video and you want to let people know to go and watch it. In most cases, you want what's going on here to be the focus and you don't want your customer to be distracted from your broadcast emails. And that's why you probably want to set up an audience of people that you want to exclude from your broadcast emails, aka people that are over here getting these emails. Let's create our audience. We'll give it a name and description. And then down here, let's go to WooCommerce. And last order days was before 14 days. Then let's click the plus sign. And down here under automation, we can select currently active in. And then here matches none of. And then here I'll select my welcome series automation, my automation that's upselling my habit tracking course. And we just continue adding automations in there that we want to prioritize over the broadcast emails. And it's worth noting that they're currently active in here. So once they go through all of the welcome series, they would exit that automation and then be removed from this audience and then receive our broadcast emails again. And the reason we're excluding people that purchased within the last 14 days is because they've just spent money in our store. Let's give them some breathing room, let them receive our product before we start sending them our broadcast emails again. And now if we go down to broadcasts and we create an email broadcast, I'll give it a name and click add. On the second step, we can click apply filters, find that audience and click apply. And now we have the option to stack this with our engaged audience of people that engaged in the last 30 days. And now we have our list of contacts that we can send this broadcast to. If you're an existing Funnel Kit user, jump in, give it a go, and if you get stuck, reach out to our support. If you're not already using the powerful features in Funnel Kit automations, then definitely check out our pricing page or jump on and speak to our pre-sales team. We're happy to help.